Hello everyone, Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today we got some new items in Core Keeper or for Core Keeper through Steam. We got some Steam community items. Over here on the Core Keeper Twitter, they said, Hey there, Explorers. We're pleased to announce that you can now get a hold of a variety of Core Keeper community items on Steam. These will be badges, trading cards, backgrounds for your Steam profile and emotes. And they're actually really easy to get and you probably already have some in there. Now I am going to break this down because it does get kind of confusing if you're not familiar with how Steam handles these trading cards. And I'm going to show you how you can get more. And I'm also going to open up some booster packs because I have a couple here. And we are going to, sh I'm going to show off my collection of the foil uh, koi uh, core keeper cards. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. What you want to do is head over to Steam when you're at the core keeper page. We are going to head over here to the point shop. Now, this is where you're going to find the backgrounds and the emojis and things like that. I have 27,000 points. You get these from just purchasing stuff. And I have enough to purchase everything. But we don't want to spend our points because there's actually a way to get these for free. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So go up here at the top left to your name. You're going to uh, scroll down to badges. And then we're going to go ahead and click on this. Now, the way this works, this is where your trading cards are. So we have our trading cards here. And then you have an icon here with a name. So the Core Keeper, this is from the game Core Keeper. We have the title Nomad and then the uh, uh, the emblem for Core Keeper. And then I also have another one called Core Keeper Foil Badge. And if I unlock this full set, it's going to give me the title Core Keeper. Now what this will allow me to do is actually display this title, this badge, on my actual uh, Steam profile. So it just looks really nice. Obviously, getting the Nomad would be really nice, but being able to obtain at the Core Keeper title and displaying that on your, your Steam page would be really fantastic. Now, before you can unlock this badge, you have to collect at the whole set of the cards. So let's go ahead and click on these cards. This is for the normal Nomad one. And whenever you load in, you're probably going to have four cards. Now, down here at the bottom right of each card, it's going to show you how many of that card you actually obtain. You're going to get four total, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of yours are duplicates and the other ones will be grayed out. So you're probably wondering, how do I get more of these cards? Well, up here at the top, it says, how do I earn more card drops? Card drops earned are four. So it gave me four, and I got these because I purchased the game. So if you purchase the game, you're going to receive four of these cards today. Now, I, it says I'm not eligible for getting any more Core Keeper drops. So what that means is you have to head down here. It says, how can I earn more drops? Well, you are now eligible for booster packs. Booster packs are the same that goes with any trading cards out there, whether it's Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever. This is going to give us three additional cards. Now, once you have received all of your card drops, you become eligible for a booster pack containing three additional cards. Booster packs are granted randomly to eligible users as more badges are crafted by members of the community. So, it's pretty much just time gated. Once a week, if you log on to Steam, you don't have to play any games. But once you log on, you will get, or you might get, a uh, booster pack to actually drop. So, to obtain more of these, you can go over here to the top at Community. Go down to Market. And this is where you can either purchase um, cards for like real life money or you can trade for stuff. So we are going to type in Core Keeper right here on the uh, search for items. And you're going to see that there are 18 booster packs available. They are each 41 cents. So then you can also purchase each individual card. So say you're missing the merchant card. There's 158 people selling it for only 7 pennies. So you could go down here and almost every single one of these blue cards are selling for just like 5 to 10 cents. So realistically, you could probably buy a full set for $1 and then you have the full set for Core Keeper and then you can use it to display your title. Now I'm going to go back over to the badges category really fast and you'll see that I have a full set um, of the re a regular blue ones which has the title Nomad. So I'm going to click on it. And we are going to hit craft badge now that we have all of them. It's going to do this really cool animation here. And then boom, it's going to give me some XP for my Steam account. And it's also going to unlock a bunch of items. So those things I showed you earlier that you could use points to buy, I actually just unlocked them. So I have the main game art here. I got the core keeper pickaxe emoji. And then leveling up my Steam gave me some other stuff. Now, one thing that's really interesting about this is my um, badge now, my Explorer badge here is level two. That's because I've actually leveled this up twice. So if I get another full set of these cards, 
I can actually craft this one more time and that'll bring me up to level 3, which will give me more XP and it'll give me more of the items that you use to purchase the points. Now I am just missing this card right here. And if I wanted to, I could scroll down here and it shows buy remaining cards on the market. Or I can trade with my friend. So Future Dragon 453 right here, it says one friend has this card. Future Dragon has this card. I can message him or I can send a trade offer and trade for him. If he doesn't want to trade for me, I could wait to get it as a drop. Or I could click on search the market. And then I see that it's selling for only seven cents here. So I could purchase that and that would max out my uh, cards. So I know that's somewhat confusing, but there are several different options that you could do to obtain these cards. Uh, if you are a little bit more confused, uh, I do recommend just typing in and looking up how Steam actually offers the trades because it is pretty simple. They explain everything pretty thoroughly. Now, if you are super lucky, one of these card drops might actually be a foil card. They are the gray border one. So I'm going to go back to my badges here. And as you see, I have this one here, the foil badge. It's going to give me the Core Keeper 100 XP. I have a full set already. Now, these are a little more expensive to obtain, and they are super rare to get. So I have all of these. I'm going to craft my first set right now. And same thing, same animation. But this time, you're going to see that I got a more enhanced version of the emblem here, and then I got these extra items here. If I back out... You actually cannot go up any further. So the, the hologram, like the foil badge, it only goes up to level 1. The other one goes up to 5. So it says you have leveled this badge to completion. I have no other reason of obtaining these cards unless I just want to have a duplicate set just to have. So that's how the foil works and that's how the regular works. And then we are going to go back to badges one more time and click on this. Now uh, you see I'm missing that merchant like we talked about. What we want to do now is go to my inventory. So view cards in my inventory. I got lucky and I have some more of these booster packs. So I have three of them now. I'm going to click on one and I can hit unpack. And this is going to give me three random cards. Hopefully I get that merchant one that I needed. There we go. I have one already. So I'm going to go ahead and unpack the other two and see what I get. And then we're going to use that to level up my uh, stuff again. I got Merchant again, which is great because a Merchant's pretty much the only one I'm missing. And I want to level mine up to level 5. That way I get the rest of the emojis and stuff like that. So there we go. We have all of that stuff. And then now we are going to go back to our badge. Boom, boom, boom. We are going to go to Core Keeper. I'm level 2. Oh, I, ac I can actually craft it up two more levels because I have enough for two. So craft times two. This will bring me to level four on that badge. And then I just have one more to go. So I'll see which badge or which card I'm actually missing to get my last one. I got the caveling emo and the gravestone. So that is done. I'm level four or once I refresh my page, I'll be level four. And there we go. So I'm missing these three cards. And then once I have that done, it'll be completely maxed out. Now, the one, the last thing I want to show you really quickly is how to display this badge on your profile. I want my hologram, my foil one. It, uh, so here we go. So this one here, I'm going to click on the foil badge just because it looks nice. And then feature this badge on my profile. So take a second to load. I'm going to click on my profile and see if we can go to my page. There we go. And here it is. It's featuring it here. I have the Core Keeper foil badge right here. Shows how much XP I got. And then the rest of my badges are displayed on my profile down here. So you can pick your favorite and put it up there. Anyways, I'm sorry if this was still kind of confusing. I hope I at least helped you out a little bit. I really hope you uh, have some really good RNG out there and you get all the cards you want. And remember to join those trade groups and ask some of uh, your friends and you guys can just pass those cards. Because they are literally trading cards and that's how they're meant to be. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you appreciate it. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next 